this is going to be part 11 of uh, my video series called uh, video series called uh, the Muslim can only cast doubt in the Bible and when I use my words I'll be using this side of my face when I use the Muslims I'll be using that side of my face okay all right did you know that I met David Wood as well I even videotaped one of his lectures you need to be brought into the big leagues I agree I will post from the beginning our so-called encounter which began at Nabil's video uh, he's talking about Nabil Qureshi's video and actually the thing is he says that I mean he doesn't I don't think he realizes this but this is actually taking place on Nabil Qureshi's video Nabil Qureshi is one of my fate is, is one of my cyber crusaders unfortunately for him he's uh, going through uh, uh, some of cancer uh, four stage and but I tell you what he went through the chemotherapy and the radiation he didn't lose a single hair he looks fantastic you need to be brought into the big leagues I agree I will post from the beginning our so-called encounter which began at Nebel's this this one yeah okay all the way up to your bull posted on my Christianity faith without foundation video how is it bull? Give examples as to why Islam is not bull when it has pagan origins like you believe Christianity has, okay? Which you did not post a peep against in rebuttal. Again, give examples as to why Islam is not bull when it has pagan origins. You know, do it. For all to see where I will add my commentary to your ignorant use of the Quran, which was the only option you had left to fake like you posted opposition again give examples as to why Islam is not bull when it has pagan origins like you believe the foundation of Christianity is you know do it okay you made some statements that prove you cannot think outside what you dig up from other idiots on the computer. <laughs> How so? Notice again, he can he can only accuse. He can only accuse and never give reasons. You know, that's called takia, lying, uh, lying for all it, or is it called lying for old Al? In fact, I now admit your ass worth. You're an, oh, and in fact, I now admit you're an ass worth abusing on a quick kill basis in debate. <laughs> well, I did tell you that I'm I, I was lousy in debate, so it sounds like you actually agree with me on something. Well, thanks for agreeing with me. Finally, my offer stands. Now, man up because you believe me when I said I don't debate just question if not my video will suffice but please take the offer be kind do not deny me this pleasure pick your net your neutral site choose a security service I will pay for it I promise you when I get done with you you will never even pick up a pen again much less a book <laughs> because you will have fulfilled Quran 533 and cut off my hands what if I shoot you first before you can obey Quran 533 man up say what say yo well where do you live or are you afraid I'll saw your head off to mindless chance of Jesus U Akbar Jesus U Akbar all the bull you can pull and cow on the computer cannot be done face to face uh, lo, lo, live too far from California eh? for your own sake you need a complete intellectual ass weapon okay I'm willing to do that service
<laughs> By getting me super drunk first, huh? Let me get you something, Pozo. What? Let me give you something, Pozo. You want to give me something clownish? Okay. The Quranic statement concerning the Bible and its corruption was made 1,500 year, some years ago before the invention of textual criticism Christian scholars today. Just 1,500 years ago. Admit that there are significant problems in all Targums of the Bible. If there are, then how? How? Can you believe in Quran? 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 2, 285, and, and 40, 70 through 72. Sounds like you can make distinction and don't have to believe in all the books of Allah. But if so, why obey Quran 1094 and come to me 